A near miss is an unplanned event that did not result in injury, illness, or damage, but had the potential to do so. In other words, it's an accident that was just barely avoided. Near misses provide an opportunity to learn and improve safety practice. What might cause a near miss? You may find that unsafe conditions have been present for some time, or there is no standardized procedure in place for a specific task, or perhaps procedures exist but have not been updated to keep up with new processes, or it may be that there is a lack of sufficient training for the task, or tools that are either improper or unsafe for the job are given to an employee, or there are employees who cut corners, not following the steps that need to be performed in order, or there is a lack of safety awareness. This can include not looking for co-workers in the immediate work area, or not checking a work area for things like pinch points prior to beginning their work. At Bird Construction, we report near misses because they provide valuable lessons. They help us to identify and eradicate the root cause of the near miss incident. Near miss reporting provides a tool to identify workplace hazards, reduces tolerance for risk, and enables us to avoid and prevent future accidents and injuries. Therefore, reporting near misses is crucial to establishing and continuing safe practices within the workplace. Let's take a closer look at near miss reporting. If you're involved in a near miss incident, what should you do? One, make sure the scene is secure and implement corrective action immediately if safe to do so. Two, report it to your supervisor. Three, fill out a near miss card. Four, if required, participate in any follow up investigation. Remember, Near misses can provide valuable lessons, but only when they are reported. If there is an investigation into the near miss, your communication will be helpful in identifying those lessons. Supervisors and workers need to be aware that there are four goals in any near miss investigation. They are to, one, find out what happened and determine the immediate underlying root cause of the incident. Two, rethink the safety hazard. Three, introduce ways to prevent a reoccurrence. And four, establish training needs. To accomplish these, your near miss management program must have these seven elements. One, identification. Conduct an investigation as soon as possible following the event. Identify and control safety or health hazards before they cause a more serious incident. Gather facts, look for witnesses, and ask for input, and record the scene with photos or sketches for future training or communications to other employees. All investigations will focus on prevention of future incidents, not placing blame. Remember, when in doubt, consider the incident as a near miss. 2. Disclosure. Employees will not be punished for reporting a near-miss incident. Instead, they will be trained in a proactive safety culture that encourages full disclosure. A good safety culture promotes open communication. That also means that management models desired behavior so other employees understand that workplace safety is essential. Clearly and consistently communicate performance expectations about safety and spell out the goals in terms of the cost and frequency of accidents and injuries. Accordingly, employees will feel comfortable reporting near misses and not fear disciplinary action or peer pressure for reporting. Three, distribution. Management will support decisions relating to corrective actions. Communicate and report to the safety committee and those who will make decisions regarding preventative actions the information you have gathered and the lessons you have learned from your investigation. There are two levels of formal communication, an official incident investigation report with a limited distribution, and second, a more widely distributed communication through toolbox or pre-shift meetings to educate workers about the contributing factors of the incident and chief lessons learned. Ensure recommendations receive prompt attention by creating an action plan. Follow up quickly to verify that the action is completed 
and that it fully addressed the original intent of the recommendation. Rapid distribution of near-miss information is of foremost importance. Quick distribution helps ensure fast resolution. Four, root cause analysis. When identifying root causes for near-miss investigations, remember that root causes usually fall into seven categories. Materials, in which the materials are defective, incorrectly suited for the job, or insufficient in quantity. Manpower, in which employees lack capability, knowledge, skill, are improperly motivated, or feel high levels of stress. Machine or equipment, which includes incorrect tool selection for the job, poor maintenance, poor placement, or defective equipment. Environment, where workplace orderliness, work layout, surface maintenance, and forces of nature increase the likelihood of a near miss. Management, which insufficient management involvement, inattention, lack of communication, or stress demands contribute to near miss incidents. Methods, which includes poor procedures, a discrepancy between practice and written procedures. Management system, which includes a lack of training or education, poor employment involvement, poor hazard recognition, or insufficient hazard elimination. Assess both the direct and underlying root causes. If these are not informally communicated to a direct supervisor, an investigation team may be required to thoroughly analyze root causes and make resulting recommendations. 5. Solution Identification The most important part of the near-miss process is identifying corrective actions that will prevent the recurrence of similar incidents. These solutions need to be identified for each root cause. Effective solutions should be feasible, prevent reoccurrence with reasonable certainty, be within your control, and not introduce new problems. Be sure to implement the corrections. 6. Dissemination Investigation conclusions must be provided to all employees with related job functions and should indicate root causes. Corrective actions should be sent to all persons who can benefit from this information. In some cases, it may be appropriate to provide the information regarding a near miss to a wider audience. 7. Resolution Once a near miss incident or hazard is identified, the correction must be made and reported. If employees don't think near misses are acted upon, they will not report in the future. However, correcting near miss hazards will make employees feel valued for their contributions when reporting. Therefore, Resolutions should be promoted and tracked. Near miss reporting helps to formulate safety strategies, reduce workplace injuries and fatalities, and enhance the safety culture of the workforce. To ensure near misses are reported and tracked, it is critical to have an open communication system in place between.